My husband caught me cheating. Him with another man, and his reply was intense. So he's seven-year prison sentence, and now my my family hates me. I broke them. Our once happy family, and I can't help but admit my actions were selfish, I repeat my self-criticism. Practically every night in the my vacant home and children's silence unlike me. And understandably deep regrets from an ex-husband me immediate family is to me separated and still hate myself for my selfish deed dot took place in 2015. And I'm now 39 looking back. I realized I didn't value my ex-husband continuously praised my looks concerned about our personal lives for treating me equally. Instead of elevating me, our... The 20-year yearship began as high school sweethearts changed. Our love was deep and exclusive, natural and right, garnering him respect. My family, especially my brother. I admired his advice during rough times. Others relied on him, always available when needed, to help throughout our lives. Together, he was good. We raised two determined sons at. When this happened, our kids were. In their teens, I gained weight and self-conscious, yet my ex always assured me of my beauty. We rarely argued, but typically did, focused on Z's life or my disinterest in things, declined to do in bed were not due to. Lack of desire, but more of not. Feeling something, he. Understanding my 39th birthday represented a new period for me, I spent. Year doing yoga in the gym and Pilates and my efforts changed. My body from 180 to 1335 below. I had changed significantly. Always been heavier. My ex-husband has banned him at the gym, but less often, and he had dropped some weight. 260 to 225 below of shaping his body. Despite my better appearance, ex-husband couldn't stop touching. Me for some strange reason. He tried, but I wasn't in the mood. Everything dinners me out. Dancing and walking regularly. Kept helping around the house. His eyes held the same love, and my desire after 20 years together. Any woman would want that. Attention, but psychologically, remained. Indifferent at the time I ascribed. Disinterest in early menopause since. There were just two or three intimate moments. Monthly and was typically rapid. An affair my ex-husband wanted. More. Despite his efforts, I could not return his feelings. Advised marital therapy, but I refused. My selfishness started to appear shortly after my birthday. New, a little younger, and beautiful. Manager started working in my office. First expressed interest in me. We rejected his advances, but... Informal chats became exchanges. Flirting despite showing him my wedding band I couldn't resist. Responding to his flirtations. Started discussing personal matters. He progressively took over my life. Later, I realized this. Emotional affair I had. I ignored my ex-husband. Noticed something was wrong. A heated argument ensued. I think I started when he attempted. Kiss me, I responded accidentally. Disgusting, but not about him. Preoccupied with the other. Man, this turned me off. Off by everything. At least I kept it in mind. Persuading myself of a week later. Important day, I met the new. Kaif management is hoping to. Telling him to leave me alone and stop this. Situation before I could speak. Word, he kissed me unexpectedly. My mind went. Blank that started it. During our six-month romance, I was more open and excited about this man. Not doing with my ex. Always available and more interested. Maybe from excitement. I'm intimate with my ex. Diminished, and I distanced myself. I criticized his little habits and, even degrading him, unashamed. I acted after my brother told me. About my ex's worsening depression. Contemplating leaving to realize. I immediately realized my act's seriousness, ended the affair and quit my job, showed my husband love, and we want to repair our relationship and be a better wife than my husband. Affair with visited my house, carrying a box of office supplies, 
requested during our conversation. Why did things end? I told him. I had to prioritize my marriage. Asked him to go again. Meeting and sadly said yes, we went. The guest room. And things heated up. Me losing track of time abruptly. X entered my affair and my partner pulled. Back, unexpectedly hitting the wall. Loud noise my ex had bloodshot eyes. Falling tears and trembling lips. Showing tremendous pain. I was disgusted when they Another man tried to abandon my ex. Confronted him. He advised my ex. My ex couldn't hold back. And attacked him. I screamed and begged. To stop panicking. I tried. Leap on his back. But, tossed down. Things were fuzzy for a while. When things got quiet. Clarify why my ex repressed my affair. Partner and was on the phone. I was just viewing the other man's bruised face. A loud sound in teeth on the floor. Knock. My ex put the phone on speaker, set it down, and knelt. The police broke in behind him and handcuffed him after the paramedic. Arrived, I discovered he had dialed 911, his hospital predicament. Went worse, my dad was silent looking. Humiliated while my brother raged. Shouting at me, he seemed heartbroken. Questioning how I harmed my ex. My mom comforted me by stating, would improve, but made my dad. Shout at her family was. Furious sisters threatened me and, my parents seemed interested in me, to suffer. I tried to communicate with my kids, but, my sons didn't answer. Even look at me simultaneously. My affair partner suffered, and needed facial surgery after, argument with my ex in the hospital. A woman entered my room unexpectedly, started hitting me, my brother had to take her off, he was married. I had an affair with a stranger. While married, he never wore rings. I felt even better after saying it. Guilty before trial, my son stayed. Grandparents on my ex's side. My girls stopped talking to me. My ex didn't want to see me either. I attempted to visit him in jail. Wouldn't allow my brother to work there. The prison arranged, so my ex can move there. Could guard him when I begged my brother to tell my ex. Angry and told me to go to hell during. Try seeing my ex again. His rage was severe for three months. Hurt more than expected. Had always loved me even. When we argued, but now it was pure. Hatred. I left to grieve in thee. Toilet time passed, and I shared. Specifics of my affair in court. Publicly, when I explained how, a while, my ex looked, saddened, and my dad left court. I instantly heard my ex's testimony. I learned he planned to surprise me, with lunch and a weekend kitty vacation. Skills, he spent a romantic weekend, intended, but interrupted us when, the other man urged him to move my ex, snapped, and ATT attacked him, halting. Only after pushing me away did he call. After 911, we heard in court. Sad voice and sobs on the talking to the operator while recording. What a miserable man I was with. Unable to talk in court. Medication, thus they show images. Seeing his injuries made me feel. Sorry, my ex injured him. Severely shattering his eye socket. Cheekbones, jaw, and bone parts. Too tiny to fix, my ex got seven years. Third degree felon Mun, my son, contested the sentence and my daughter's, and his family's anguish. I still remember the first. My three months were hell. The ex-wife of my affair partner sued me. My ex filed for emotional alienation. Divorce my oldest son left my other. Son never left his room, and my twins imitated my ex. Sisters confronted me in a supermarket and my mom spat at me when I apologized. Dad and my brother wouldn't talk to me. Even my childhood friends parted, finding a new job, because we had no income. Although our savings were practically gone, I was pretty much banned in my field. Due to the negative press at, I started working for an accounting firm, retail and worked at H&R seasonally. 
Block was nearly lost during tax season. Our residence, my ex wouldn't allow me to visit. He returned all my letters. Ended up writing without opening. Crying in the shower most days. Mom harmed her parents' marriage. Keep defending me and my brother. Guilt was like I didn't exist. Devastating, and I considered. Disappearing and leaving everything. Eventually, I decided to see. A therapist told me I was too much. Relaxed with my ex, she stated I saw him. More like a benefit-laden pal. Husband, and she was right. I was too? He made me feel at ease. Partner, but still considered me his. Spouse and mother of his children. I had snatched his beloved woman. Taken for granted a year ago. Last year, my kids didn't talk to me. Whenever I make dinner, they just. Eat in their rooms, not even. Looking at me, I broke down multiple times. I begged them to talk to me, but they. Kept silent, my brother married, and. I was not invited, but my kids were. I tried to see my ex, expecting him. Would let me visit him, but I was always. Turned away, never opening my. Letters deep down and deserved it. Depression that ruled me. One day, my brother appeared. My first sighting of him since. Trial I was glad to meet him, but. He came to scold, not make up. He told me my ex had. Jail infirmary injury after. Fighting another prisoner who. Tried to get personal with him, his ex got. Stomach and other injuries. My convict broke his spine. My brother blamed me for it, and. Leaving angry in his truck, I cried. Days because he was right, it was my. I tried to visit my ex in the infirmary, but they refused for. Another four years of letter writing. Luckily, they all returned. Kids often visited dad, and I found. Out from them that my brother got. Him into protective custody, following. Attack as my oldest got older. Same college, same choice. Major like my ex, but mainly spoke to his. Siblings and avoided me. Not home for holidays, wanting to visit his grandparents. House my other son went to, the same college, and ignoring me. My twins were hard, but visiting. Dad regularly lifted their spirits. When they overacted, uncle. I would still assist my brother. Barely spoke I tried to visit his. Wife when their first child was born, but. They wanted me to go, but my mom kept me. Life updates while my dad continuing to ignore me. My kids arrived early in May this year. Home for four months without knowing why. I was just glad they were there. I tried. I apologized, despite their. Mostly ignored me progressively. Chatting with me again was fantastic. Catch up and discuss their. My oldest was dating. For nearly a year, my second son was on the. My daughters and the college track team. Talking to me again, seeing my agony. Because they havened my emotions. Guilty seeing them laugh and joke. And eating together made me want. What August Drew lost to. Near, I eagerly awaited twins. The first day of the senior year. Matched their 18th birthday. Shared my birthday joy. Celebration and planned my actions. Unexpectedly, my girls asked. Celebrate another day without reluctance. Their request left me, confused because I believed we were. Our rebuilding progress. Friendship when I asked about their reasoning. One reply because. Dad's planning a party and I don't. Wanting you near him captured. I was surprised and asked for clarification. Regarding their father's release. They told me he was released in late April for excellent. Behavior. Tears came to my eyes. Hearing this news broke my heart. Their growing prominence in house because of his return. Happy and pleased came from. Seeing their father again. Not from our growth and healing, they brought him back. I asked. His living arrangements and they disclosed his residence with me. Brother, I tried to reach you. Brother is desperate to talk, but he denied I tried to visit. Holding letters that had been returned over time and caught. He appeared briefly through the, yelled out his half-open door. Name, however, my brother asked me. 
Levi gave him letters, reached the driveway, and left. His voice made me look around, and he, nearing me, tears fell. My face, and I hugged him. Coldly replied to my letters. I forgot this and cried watching him. Walk away, I begged and implored him. To speak to me, but retreated. Into the home, my kids stood by. Door staring at me without interest. They looked at me with affection. Realized my kids were just kids. Despite my presence. Desperately wanted to fix our broken links I wanted to confess. Selfishness shows my wealth. I missed him and expressed my deepest regret for destroying what we once had. I continued my journey. Daily life expecting to. My mother taught me to apologize. Which my affair partner's ex-wife had. I went to my ex two years ago and was still visiting periodically. I cared. Little that my only desire was. Him to forgive me and interact. Talk to me and stand beside me. Love me as much as. Before four, I wanted my kids to stand with us, and I felt deeply, wanting my family back even more, though I knew I didn't. We deserve it even if we miraculously. Reconciliation could never be the same. I acted selfishly and desired. Passionately that I could undo anything now. Let's examine the community. Perspectives in the initial opinion. Pity for my ex-husband realizing. Emotional abuse and dismissal. Behavior I gave him advice. Stresses the necessity. Asking friends for help. Accountable for my actions. Rather than condoning them. Therapy is necessary opinion. Number two suggests I cease. Reconnecting with my past. Relatives and those who. Disconnected from my advice. Live my life and progress. These opinions show complexity and the gravity of the situation. Necessity of self-reflection. Avoiding personal growth is crucial. Activities that may appear. Harassment is sometimes necessary. Recognize when situations have formed an irreversible opinion. Third, my children may have stopped talking because my twins are still minors and living with me the seriousness of the situation where my family essentially lost their father and my ex lost years of this life in a hostile environment is recognize this opinion sees my letters and apologies as ineffective and advises mean to respect my ex's choice focusing on my own mental health and my relationship with my children the idea of returning to the way things were esteemed. Unrealistic, and it's recommended to be. Realistic about the future of my relationship with my ex. In summary, opinion number three advises acceptance of the situation, personal growth, and a focus on rebuilding relationships with my children. All right, that was a fun story. Now let's move on to another exciting one. Stay tuned and let's dive in. I. 28-year-old man recently went through a divorce with my ex-wife, 25-year-old woman after being married for two years. I first met my wife when we were in college. At that time, I was ahead of her in class, and after becoming friends, I graduated, but we kept in touch. Luckily, I quickly found a well-paying job a few months after graduating during this period. My wife and I grew closer and I occasionally provided her with financial support to help her with her needs even. Though we weren't officially dating, we became intimate essentially having a friends with benefits. Relationship over time I developed. Strong feelings for her and we eventually started dating officially. While we were dating our relationship, had its fair share of highs and lows. Looking back, I should have seen these. Challenges as warning signs, however, because I was deeply in love with her eye. Believed that my positive influence would eventually lead to her changing. For the better, I wasn't the type of boyfriend who constantly argued or fought, but, but my wife often was she. Would argue about virtually everything, even over trivial matters that shouldn't have resulted in arguments she had a defensive personality and struggled to admit when. She was wrong even when it was clear she had made a mistake despite these challenges we continued dating for two 
Years with a few breakups along the way, and eventually we got married apart from her defensive nature and difficulty. Managing her anger, my wife was a good person she took care care of me met my needs and looked after our home. Additionally, she excelled in managing finances, which was a skill I lacked. However, in the first year of our marriage, a situation arose that nearly tore our marriage apart. I had a female colleague at work with whom I was close. We would have lunch together and sometimes I would give her a ride home. After work, my wife was not comfortable with this arrangement despite being familiar with my colleague no matter how. Much I tried to explain that there was nothing romantic between my colleague and me. My wife remained unconvinced and disapproved of our interactions one day after work. I offered to give a few of my colleagues a ride to the bus station as I often did a female friend of mine chose to sit in the front with me unexpectedly my wife suddenly emerged from where she had been hiding and physically attacked my female colleague she caused a chaotic scene at my workplace and I almost lost my job due to her actions my wife seriously Injured injured my female colleague, even pulling out her hair. Ultimately, I had to cover all the hospital bills and pleaded with my colleague not to press. Charges this incident was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. When I confronted my wife at home, she showed no remorse. Instead, she claimed she knew I was cheating on her and hurled insults at me. I couldn't fathom where all these accusations were coming from because I had never been unfaithful to her not even when we were dating I made a sinner effort to remain faithful. But she would accuse me of infidelity at the slightest opportunity but the problems didn't end there she constantly invaded my privacy I often woke up to find her going through my phone and if I protested she would hand me her phone and tell me to go through it as well for two years I endured this believing that her behavior stemmed from insecurity and a fear of losing me because she loved me. So much little did I know that she had been steadily cheating on me and deceiving me the entire time. Furthermore, when she handed me her phone, I never actually checked it because I trusted that she had nothing to hide in reality. She had secrets hidden away. My line of work required occasional travel to meet with clients, and every time I informed my wife about an upcoming trip. It inevitably led to an argument that primary reason for these fights was her claim that I didn't spend enough time with her and she disliked my frequent traveling so the last time I traveled. This was before before I discovered her. Hypocrisy, I finished my business with a client a day ahead of schedule and decided to return home to surprise my wife knowing she wasn't pleased about my travels. When I arrived home the house was quiet but I noticed a pair of sneakers in my living room that didn't belong to me. As I walked down the corridor, I saw a shirt just outside our bedroom door. The bedroom was slightly ajar and when I opened it to investigate, I found my wife and my closest college friend in bed together. They were both, both unclothed and cuddled up sound asleep and snoring indicating they had just been intimate. Wow, I was completely shocked and devastated. I couldn't believe that my wife who had accused me multiple times of cheating when I was innocent was actually having an affair. With my friend in that moment, I felt a strong urge to confront them, but I realized that doing so would only make things worse. Instead, I took out my phone and discreetly snapped several pictures. Of them, then I left the house while they were still asleep. I shared their pictures in my wife's family WhatsApp group and sent them to our close friends and even the people who knew my college friend by the time they woke up almost. Everyone in our social circle had seen those pictures and sent them angry messages shortly after my wife realized what was happening and called me to ask if I had received any pictures from an unknown number, I told her that I had given her up that evening to collect her things and leave my house when I said, said that she understood it was me and, instead of getting defensive like I expected, she started pleading with me on 
The phone she claimed it wasn't wetted. Seemed and couldn't explain how it had happened, but I didn't buy into her. Excuses after I shared the pictures with. My friends, some of them confessed that. They knew about my wife's infidelity. I was stunned that some of my friends had known about my wife and my friend. Cheating on me, but had never said. Anything I was furious and decided to cut them off completely by blocking them. As for my wife, she begged me not to make. A decision that would ruin our marriage. Despite having already destroyed it with her infidelity, I had grown tired of her. And her manipulation, and I didn't hesitate to divorce her as someone. Mentioned before, I'd like to emphasize. That some women aren't worth the sacrifices men make for them, it's still. Hard to believe that while I was trying. My best to be a good husband to her, my wife had been cheating on me since the first year of our marriage and I never suspected a thing she went so so far as to paint me as the villain all the time while she was having an affair right under my nose with my friend speaking of him I cut all ties with him and as I share this story I consider him dead too me along with my friends who watched my Wife cheat on me, but never said anything. I've made up my mind never to marry. Again, marriage isn't worth all the stress and drama, and it's better to be a single and free man than to be married to a manipulative and unfaithful cheater.